Some cancerous tumors are too difficult or too dangerous to access using traditional surgery without damaging other major organs or blood vessels. The pioneering nano knife procedure is being used in a number of hospitals around the world on cancer patients who've run out of other treatment options. Though it's not a cure, doctors claim this minimally invasive form of surgery may be the only lifeline available to patients suffering from soft tissue sarcoma like pancreatic cancer. Using the two needles, um, it's a very high voltage being applied, uh, up to 3,000 volts. And when you apply such a huge voltage, um, what, it happen what happens is it destabilizes the cells, um, cell membrane, and it creates nano holes inside the cell membrane. Okay, it's literally creating holes inside the lining covering the cell. The electrical pulses are contained between the electrodes, minimizing damage to surrounding healthy cell tissue, blood vessels and other important structures. With these holes appearing in the cell membrane, what happens is that the cell basically just like commits suicide. They, they die. Because you, it's a bit like, you know, if you have multiple holes in your skin, all your fluid in there will just leak out. This is the same kind of scenario. The procedure is not widely available. Professor Lean is pioneering the treatment on prostate cancer patients at the Princess Grace Hospital in London. He says early results are under study. The data we have shows we do have, you know, we can control the disease, but it's certainly not a cure. And it is, certainly in the case of pancreas, uh, we would certainly advise to be used in combination with chemotherapy. While the nano knife treatment has the potential to prolong survival and improve quality of life, its precise target zone means it's not suitable for patients whose cancer has spread or for those suffering from heart problems.